Hello, hello, how y'all doing? Will and Mina here with Wild Decor by Faye. Hotter than heck here. <laughs> um, I hope everybody's having a good Friday. Just trying to find my live up here. There we go. Okay. Ah, didn't run around <laughs> again like a chicken with my head cut off. I hope y'all are having a good day. Um, I just wanted to show a couple of things before I started designing today. And I hope, <laughs> keep your fingers crossed because we're going to be winging it again. Um, I just wanted to show you, I did this on a video yesterday, not a live, just a video. And this is what I made yesterday. I just thought it came out pretty cool. So I just wanted to show it so y'all could see and see the little, um, the little leaf guys. There's like three of them in there. Aren't they so cute? I've had those sitting around for a couple of years and I've been waiting to use them. I've been dying to use them. <laughs> so I did finally yesterday. It's so funny because, hold on one sec. <laughs> it's so funny because I had made um, some little cupcakes to go in there. I had made three of these little cupcake guys to go in there and I ended up not using them. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. <laughs> and I also wanted to show for some of my wreath making friends um, some new signs that we've got in the shop. So I, I just, the, oh, I need to turn this around, but it says Merry Christmas. Y'all can guess, <laughs> right? Look at, with all the candy colors this year. Thanks, Vicki. Thanks, y'all. Be sure to sprinkle the love. <laughs> and then um, I have this one. And then my last, look at that. Isn't that cute? It looks a little dark. I'm still kind of iffy on the red, so I know I love the pink too. And my husband was supposed to print up another pink sign that we have, so I'm going to show it to you. But um, he didn't. He accidentally printed up two of these because they were both square, but that's okay. <laughs> Stuff happens. And then look at this one, guys. And you can get this one with or without the autumn blessings on there. Can you see? Oh, just and it's so gorgeous. And I have this black velvet ribbon with gold on the other side. Hello, Jan. Hi. <laughs> I'm so hot. I just got home like half an hour ago. So, you know, I've been running around like a chicken with my head cut off. I was going to do this today, but with everything I had going on, there was no way I was going to be ready for this. So, um, hello, hello. Thanks so much, y'all, for coming on. But I just wanted to show those. So, for any of you wreath makers, check out the signs in the shop. They're so today, um, we're going to make a Williamsburg wreath, Christmas wreath. I've never made one before. I've always just done um, either traditional or um, whimsical. So today, I'm t I keep looking at the... I don't. Is this a good angle, you guys? I think I need to push this back some. Don't look at the roots. Because <laughs> um, we're going to... Um, we're going to make these look like these we're gonna we're going to make them frosted I guess you know make them sparkly make them sparkly you have Cinderella really vibes oh <laughs> yeah right um so I mixed together the last of my um diamond dust and then I mixed it with this. So we're going to see how this works. I've never um, done this before and I didn't even have a chance to set up uh, an area to put them, but I figured, okay, I don't want to fall off the chair, y'all. <laughs> That's not what I would do. Um, I figured, lost my train of thought. <laughs> y'all, it's been a day. Okay. But these are the ribbons I have. See, I have the four inch that I want to use because I haven't used it yet and I've had it for a couple years. Um, but I also have the one, you know, me and my one inch that could go with this one inch. So we're going to see, but we're going to go ahead and, um, Mod Podge and sprinkle, but I think, Oh, that's what I was going to say. I figured, um, we could, the parts that are sitting down, they're going to dry while we're working on the rest of the wreath. Cause I have, I have this that I'm just going to add to, 
you know, some here and there, some berries and stuff like that. And then the bow. So I figure by the time we make the bow and all that stuff, it should be dry, hopefully. I have the fan above going on and all that good stuff. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how this turns out, y'all. <laughs> Is everybody having a good day? Is it so hot where everybody else is too? Because it's like a million degrees here. It's so hot. And I have been running around since 6 o'clock this morning. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And I was looking and looking and looking because I knew I had some pears. I knew I had them forever because I wanted pears in this. Um. And so I happened to open up the pantry, and I guess I used them for decorations. <laughs> so I have some um, pears that we can color to. Well, not color, but, you know, make sparkly. So we're going to put my old stuff to use. In Long, Long Island, right? Long Island? <laughs> I'm a California girl, so <laughs> I love that New York accent. My best friend, Gail, she's from New York. But her accent is in the steep as yours. <laughs> I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I sat up last night watching your replay on your nose. I just love them. Eileen, they're so adorable. And my, and Gail is a gnome fanatic. So, mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Excuse the outfit. <laughs> I'm hot and stinky. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So I'm going to go back and watch the replays and I didn't get a chance to print out the lineup. So I don't know who's coming next. So if one of y'all could list, post that here, that would be awesome. I'd really appreciate it because I don't want to, you know, leave anybody out, but I just haven't had a second to, to sit down. And then my dog attacked me when I got home because she hasn't seen me all day. So she was like, mama, oh, this is a new one too. I think I used up my other one. Not sure. Hog on it, y'all. <laughs> Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, I can breathe. So I hope your show goes super well, Eileen. I hope it goes great. Eileen, I'm so sorry. I have a friend and it's named Elaine, so I get it mixed up all the time. Okay, so I'm winging this, y'all. Winging this totally. Can you see what I'm doing? Pretty much right. I think I don't need both of these bowls, but I'm not sure. Y'all, I have some more wax paper. I mean, hold on one second. <laughs> Parchment paper. Okay. So I can put over here. For the other ones to dry. Golly, God. Getting off and on the stairs. It's a chore. <laughs> okay. I think I'm finally ready. I was trying so hard to get ready while Eileen was on. Glad I have these done. Nothing else. Those are going in. Okay. So, <clears throat> we can paint. I mean, not paint, but you know what I mean. And then I think I'll hold them over this. There we, it's all coming together now. Can you see the smoke? <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and do, do, do. I should probably put these on a stick, huh? A skewer or something. Yeah. And I don't want to do it too thick because I, can you see what I'm doing? Because I don't want it to take forever to dry either. So I just thought I'd give one of these a try and I have all this, you know, Williamsburg-esque ribbons. And I figured I could, you know, if I was running late, I could put this together quickly. Well, quickly, you know me and quickly, come on. Who are you kidding? Well, okay. So we've got that. Now I've got some of the, the the mixture here. Can you see what I'm doing? Let's scooch over this way a little bit. Still working on the, the angle, y'all. Still working on it. So then I had to look for my gloves. <laughs> Couldn't find them. And they were right here behind me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look. Oh, pretty, pretty. So I always like mixing these two together. 
And I also have some of that, um, that powdery stuff that you can, um, spray water on your wreath or whatever you want to make snowy looking your, your pick or whatever. That's the spot. Did I get any Mod Podge on that? There we go. So look, look how pretty. See that spot doesn't look too hot right there, but we'll put that in back, right? <laughs> There, and I just won't do the bottoms and I'll set them up. There we go. Good idea. Right? <laughs> Hi, Sherry. How are you? Thanks so much, y'all, for coming on. I appreciate it. I'm trying to get these signs out of the way. I just had to show you those signs. I thought they were so bleeping cute. <laughs> I just thought they were fabulous. That, yeah. You know, so you know how many signs I have. Everything I think is cute. I'm like, oh, we got to make this, Stephen. We got to make this. So, mm -hmm. you know, I have a ton of signs. <laughs> now, whether I use them all or not is another story, but that's okay. Now, I found this pomegranate. Isn't that pretty color? I only have the one because I used the other one, I believe. No, I think I only bought the one, but it's from Dollar Tree. So do y'all like the Williamsburg, um, you know what the Williamsburg look is? You know what the fruit, the colonial days? Because I live about 45 minutes from Williamsburg. So we go up there at Christmas time and check it all out. And I really think the wreaths are pretty. I mean, they're very minimal. So that, that right there is, you know, out of my comfort zone. So I figured, well, we'll give it a try. And I had all this fake fruit laying around, so I'm like, mm, why not? So I went to, ooh, I went to Walmart earlier today um, while I was running around. Because I saw last night on on a TikTok video, I don't know if y'all watch, um, Tarnation Creation. She, was, she came on with um, a flocked skeleton from Walmart. So you know I had to go check out the Walmart. And I was by one on my way from um, physical therapy. Golly! And so I'm like, okay, I gotta, I gotta look, I gotta look. They didn't have them, but I had to look. But they had pumpkins, and they're real pumpkins. They're only four fifty-eight, four fifty. So I was totally stoked. So Gail and I got a couple of pumpkins each. And I saw this one, um, I think it was on Pinterest I saw it. Look how pretty. Um, oh, I need to put some more here. Um, if you take some white paint and you put it on your thumb, and you do like a thumbprint on the pumpkin. So this is instead of carving. Um, and then put little eyes on it. It looks like a little ghost. So then you have little ghosties all over your pumpkin. So stinking cute. And since my theme this year for Halloween is ghosts, I'm like, oh, I got to do that. So then they ha if they showed also a white pumpkin that if you do the same thing, you know, with your thumb, but with um, orange paint and then put a little stem on it. They have little pumpkins all around, all over your pumpkin. What a cute idea. I thought that was so cute. I know, aren't they pretty? You've always wanted to go there? Yeah, it's right close to Bush Gardens too. And they have a um, Christmas thing at Bush Gardens. I haven't been to Bush Gardens in years. Isn't it always the way when you live close to something, you take it for granted and you don't go? Cause I used to live right close to Disneyland when I lived in San Diego. And now, and I always wanted to go to Disney World on the East Coast. And now we've been here 24 years and I still haven't been to Disney World. Now, I don't know if we could afford to go to Disney World. But, I, you know, I would think I'd rather spend that. And my son's grown now, so I don't know what I'd rather. I think I'd rather, honestly, boring, it's going to sound. I'd rather re, um, remodel my bathroom upstairs <laughs> than go to Disney World, I think. Because I can't go on any of the rides. I have a neck issue that I, I'm, I'm not supposed to go on any rides. So 
Yeah, so this is super simple, y'all. Now, I honestly, I don't know <laughs> if you have to put Mod Podge on afterwards again. So if anyone's done this and you, you, you know, let me know. Because <laughs> I'm hoping it stays. I didn't watch the whole video through. I have a short attention span that way. <laughs> I'm like, I'll watch it and go, oh, I can do that. I know what to do next, blah, 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 blah. And then I go, oh, maybe, maybe I don't. Oops. <laughs> but yeah, whatever. <laughs> we'll figure it out. It'll all work out. Look at how pretty. Isn't that nice? And I'm just not doing the bottom, so they're just sitting there on the bottom. I think I want to, yeah. Oh, look at that. Pears are heavy. This one is. This one needs to go on a diet. Oh, I almost stuck my brush in the glitter. Yeah, that was the last bit of my um, diamond dust, too, so I need to go to, to Hobby Lobby or Michael's or whatever and get some more. Yeah, I have a couple of um, candle rings, like you know, made it from um, lamb's ear. So I think I might do those tomorrow and decorate them Christmassy. Maybe to, you know, put around a candle and um, to match this, maybe. I don't know. Oh, isn't that sad? <laughs> Dumped out all oh, my glitter. Oh no, so super sad. <laughs> I'm gonna stick this in the glue pot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh well. At least it fell on my parchment paper. Now it doesn't wanna go in. Oh, come on, there we go. There we go. <laughs> now I don't want to pick it up, I'm afraid. <laughs> Oopsie. So have y'all seen my reel of my um my finished following mantle? I have my ghosties up, they're hanging. So every time I walk by I'm like, woo. <laughs> so when Gail saw the, the reel. She's like, does it have you going woo on it? And I said, no. I put music to it. She's like, then I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> I'm like, hey, y'all, you got to watch. No, I'm not going to watch it. Because every time she comes to the house, I made her some ghosties too. Every time she comes to the house, I'm like, woo. <laughs> That's my spooky sound, Gail. There we go. <laughs> this won't take long. Willie's famous last words, right? First, last, oh, <laughs> this won't take long. So Gail was, to oh, Gail was um, going to meet me at the Walmart, right? Because she had her eye doctor appointment, which was right at the street. And so I called her when I was done with physical therapy. I said, Gail, where are you? She said, I'm on the boulevard. Where are you? And I said, I'm at the Walmart on the boulevard. Come meet me. Because I wanted her to see, um, you know, the skeletons. And um, so she's driving. And we're talking on the phone while she's driving. And um, she's like, this guy, he just tried to to go around me, you know, to pass by her. Because I guess he thought she was driving too slowly. And when he was going past her, bam, he hit another car. Right there in front of the Walmart. So she's like, well, he just hit the other car. I'm like, no way. So when we got out of Walmart, there's this big old fire truck. His car is totaled. The car he hit, not so much. Yeah. I'm like, oh my goodness. And you saw it all happen. She's like, yeah, I know. I really like the pears. They're super pretty. So I finally am going to have a show on the 28th of this month, which is usually, God, usually September is the, 
the show time, you know, in the high schools and stuff like that. But so I, because I hadn't made very many Halloween wreaths just because I haven't been selling them in my Etsy shop. So I'm finally going to one. I'm like, oh, now I got to make a couple more Halloween things. So <laughs> making Christmas and Halloween. I have a lot of fall, a lot of fall. <laughs> a lot of fall. Oh, I haven't done a red one yet. There I go. I almost stuck it in the glitter again. Did you see that? <laughs> and then I'm going to scooch these off to the side. And let them dry while we work on the bow and, and putting a few more goodies into that pre-made um, wreath base. I, I believe it's from Walmart from last year. Just trying so hard to use up everything that I had to have last year and didn't use. Y'all do that too. Oh my gosh, I have to have it. And then you don't even end up using it. <laughs> Can't tell you how many times I do that, y'all. Ask my husband, he could probably tell you. <laughs> See, I got those other red ones too. These are really dark. These would be really good um, Halloween candy apples. I think I have another pack of them though. If not, I think I have them. I know I have more somewhere. Cause I, I was gonna make so many. And sell them all. <laughs> oh, I need to get more up, up by the stem, I think. Mm, here we go. Here we go. Oh, look at the red is coming off of this red, too. And I think these apples were from the at-home store. So why is red coming off? Why? Hi, Heather. Hi, Lindsay. How y'all doing? Oh, you can't see what I'm sprinkling? I'm sorry. It's my mixture of diamond dust and um, this glitter right here. Sorry. Should I go over? Let me tilt this down. I'm afraid to tilt it too far because my phone will come out. <laughs> Is that better? Now I scooted the... <laughs> there we go. Is that better? Okay, okay, good. You'd think I'd look on the tablet. And, but, yeah. So, and I'm just dipping, um, I'm just using Mod Podge. I'm trying to get some different colors in here. So I think we're just gonna do this one. Cause I got some of the other ones. The other ones that are already pretty up so that we can get on to making a bow. You know, I always love the four inch ribbon and then I don't love using it, I think. So silly. But they make them so pretty. And I'm like, oh. But then I end up using the one inch. I just love the one inch. Just makes such a light and airy bow. The four inch, I think, is just so heavy. But I bought this from, you know, the person we're not allowed to mention. Um, with the checks. Like two years ago. And I have yet to use it. But when I was on Pinterest looking at um, Williamsburg style wreaths, I noticed that they used the check and, and the plaid. So I'm like, I know I have that. And I did. And now I just don't know <laughs> if I want to use it or not. So who's coming on next, y'all? I didn't get a chance to print up the roll call. Oh. Isn't that pretty, pretty, pretty? Okay. So I love you mixing that, that up because it just gives it such a pretty. It'll look better. You know that when the... <laughs> but now I have such a huge mess, mess here, y'all. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> 
Okay, it's just gonna have to be a mess. I think we're good. Three pears, one green apple. I'm just, sorry, I lied. I'm gonna do one more green apple. Yeah, because I don't want it to be it by itself. <laughs> Yeah, Williamsburg is pretty cool, y'all. If you get a chance, it's a good little, um, it's like a whole, you, when you see like all the, all the homes and the little buildings, the churches and all the stuff that are like authentic, you're just like, ooh, I wonder who walked here, you know? Thomas Jefferson, all the, you know, I don't know who all would have walked there, but you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not a good history person, but it's just the, the thought, because they keep it pretty authentic looking. And then they have some cool stores there too. And then there's William and Mary College right close by. And of course, Bush Gardens. That fan is making my Mod Podge dry really quickly. So has everybody officially moved on to Christmas or are you still working on fall or Halloween or what are y'all doing now? Inquiring minds want to know. I'm having a hard time deciding. I, every year I seem to have a hard time deciding when to move on. But my Halloween sold better last year than this year. There we go. So I'm going to leave these just in case. If I, need, if I need to add some more, I will. But I think we're good with that. Put these away. Okay. I'm just going to... And I have these already done. So let me put this... See, I should have put a cup of water or something here so I could... But now my brush is going to dry all hard and nasty. Put this up here. I don't want my wreath to hit it, y'all, because if you knew me, <laughs> you'd be like, we'll move as much as you can out the way, because mm, if we can. But I'm not going to say it out loud. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm scooting this up. I swear, it doesn't matter how big your table is. You never have enough room. Don't you fall on my ribbon. Don't you do it. Okay. Oh, here's a napkin. We'll put oh, you know what I have? Da -da. <laughs> baby wipes. I will wrap this in a baby wipe. I didn't think of that. So have y'all been doing the um, daily challenge? Working on fall and Halloween, waiting to see it on a show to know if I'm doing Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. I hear ya. Do you sell on Etsy? Okay, sorry, I apparently can't talk and clean at the same, at the same time. So I'll put that up there. No, I think I wanna wrap it in, in one. Put this down here. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because it's already sticking to the napkin. <laughs> okay, just going to wrap this in there and take care of that later. Okay, let's get this puppy going. So we have this, and I really, oh, let's see, I think it came, yeah, it came from Walmart last year for $13, y'all. I can't beat that with a stick. 
Yeah, so my physical therapist said I'm getting stronger. My leg, is, my knee is getting stronger. So since I'm getting stronger, she gave me more exercises to do. I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I don't know if I want all these in here because I want room for uh, my bow. So I'm thinking I'm going to take maybe a little one out. Let's see, every, okay. I'm trying to think, y'all, sorry. <laughs> um, I think if I put one above here. So since there's a small area, I think I'm going to use the two small ribbons. Surprise, surprise. I don't know what it is, but, but you know what I have too? I have the um, check in one inch too <laughs> so I can use all three ribbons now find my ribbon my bow maker oh, I'm sorry I'm such a hot mess y'all <laughs> we're gonna make a quick bow okay okay I like I know I use it backwards but I like it with this on that side. So, I think we're going to put this in the back, then the red, then the check. Look at that executive decision. <laughs> so proud of myself. I am going to just fold this end. Just because these, they like to um, fray a lot. I don't know why. Okay. And this is D. Stevens ribbon. I'm gonna leave the tails long just in case. If I need to cut them, I can always cut them. You know how that goes. And I'm just gonna do two loops of each ribbon. And I generally do my loops at five and a half inches. But five and a half inches, um, let me see, am I, sh okay. Five and a half inches while they're fluffed. I don't like to flatten my my wire out. So five and a half inches like that. Which might come out to six, but that's what I can you know, Okay, good. Answered my own question. <laughs> so have you said who's coming up next, y'all? So we can go watch them. I'm gonna go sit and relax on the couch and have some breakfast. I haven't had breakfast yet. That's one thing about these strong wires. <laughs> they can bend like square, you know what I mean? Kind of anal that way. I need them to match while they're on the board. Hi, Jana Mays. Hey, Wes. Thanks for coming on, y'all. We just finished um, sparkling up some fruit. And now we are making a bow for a Williamsburg style wreath. How are you feeling, Jan? I hope you're doing well. So there we've got that. Oh, you're up next. Okay, wreathing around. Y'all be sure to go on wreathing around. Yay. I'm sorry if I missed that earlier and kept asking. Sorry. I apologize. I need to go take a shower. A nice cold shower. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> okay. 
So then what did I say next? The red. Yeah. Oh, this is a ferrous silk. So this is a stiff, stiff ribbon. See how it likes to fray on the ends? That drives me crazy. Okay, I think I used up a lot of this last season. I had some of those um, retro Santa signs, the Santa heads, really cute. So I used a lot of this ribbon with that. And I'm making these loops just a little bit smaller. I'm gonna have one going up and one going down. And this is gonna come down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, and I have to get my uh my zip ties. Now I gotta get back on this chair. You know, I'm getting better at it. <laughs> it's just super tall and there's no arms on it. So it takes some getting used to it. My last chair wasn't so tall and it had arms so I could just go plop. <laughs> and this has gold on the backside too. So there's a lot of gold going on here. But this one, this one is a um, MC, so it's not as thick, y'all. Not even close. The wire's decent, but yeah. I just love it. I just love it. I think I got like four rolls of it. <laughs> Put it on the middle on both sides. There we go. This is all good, so that can go up there. I hope this turns out, y'all. I really do. Okay, I've got 20 minutes. I have to go to Harbor Freight and get some more zip ties, too. God. Okay, now I'll get some of my bind wire. To put in the back. Get good in the middle. See, I'm getting better. <laughs> tied too tight that I can't get this bind wire in. <laughs> okay. Let's see, let's see. I think I might have. There we go. Okay. Mm, then that's pretty. <laughs> And that look pretty. I'm squished. That one was up. This one's down. This one's up. Middle and down. Oh gosh. That's a lot of gold up in here. <laughs> okay. But look, it does it does hold a nice little loop, doesn't it? Okay, isn't that pretty? Cool. It looks huge, but <laughs> when I see it in the camera, I'm like, woo. <laughs> Where did I put the three? Okay. Oh my goodness. 
There we go. So I'm gonna attach this bow and then we'll start to stuff it. Where did I say I wanted it to go? There's kind of a bald spot right here, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right there. Now I'm not quite sure if I want it to, um, this is one of those twiggy, it's not like a grapevine, so I'm just gonna wrap the um, vine wire around it. Try to get in between these. See, it's kind of that twiggy stuff. It's not really a grapevine. So you can't go through. That's fun, always trying to um, get your picks in there. So there, I think I, you know, I want it kind of down on the side bottom like that. Yeah. It'll look better once I fluff it up and put stuff in. So, okay, let's put some greenery in. Got some of this. I have a lot of cedar, so I'm going to put the cedar in first. Because it's just a little different than what they have in. And I've got some, whatever this is called. But I do have some uh, rose leaves. My favorite, favorite, favorite. I love rose leaves. So I'm going to put this down over here. And cut some of this up. I'm trying to make sure I don't hit my fruit. I'm just going to cut these off. I know I bought a ton of this stuff last year. Now I have to go, I think I have to go to storage still and find it. I have a few tubs here. And silly me. <laughs> My husband put a pull cord for the light in the attic, right? Right next to the door is a switch. So I'm like, well, why am I going to use the pull cord if I can... Use the switch, I don't understand. Because I have to go in to use a little bit farther in the dark attic to um, pull the cord. So I'm like, yeah, I don't want to do that. I want the light on before I go in, <laughs> in case there's any spiders. So <laughs> he's like, is the fan on in there? I said, yeah, I think so, but it's still hotter than heck up there. And he's like, did you pull the cord or did you flip the switch? I'm like, I flipped the switch. It's like, then you shut off the fan. When you flip the switch down, you shut off the fan. I'm like, oh, oh no. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, and I have this sprinkly stuff. I'll have to show it to you, y'all, because it's super cool. I think I want to cut this one down a little bit. I think I already have. Um, the, all you got to do, and it goes on ribbon too, because I used it a lot last year, like on all my grapevines. Um, you spray it with some water, you spray whatever you want flocked and with some water and then you sprinkle the stuff on and then you spray it again and then you let it dry for like 24 hours and it does not come off to save your life. It does not come off and, um, you flocked it and it, and it comes in different colors, but I just got the white cause I didn't want different colors. But I know when I grew up in San Diego, <laughs> you could get your tree flocked in different colors, like pink. And this was like a hundred years ago, y'all. Pink and blue and purple and whatever color you wanted. And when I moved out here, I'm like, do y'all flock Christmas trees? They're like, do we what? They didn't know what flocking was. I'm like, oh, Stephen, we need to start flocking Christmas trees for people. Because it was a huge thing in California. Huge. You can make a killing at it. Just like a, um, I don't know if y'all like Mexican food. I'm a Mexican food freak. 
Virginia's good. It's hot. It's hot. And muggy. Um, but there's like a little taco stand. And they, they're... The names all end in O's, like Roberto's, Alberto's, Umberto's, all sorts of O's. And, but they make the best, best, it's drive through most of the, most of them, um, Mexican food. Because this, you know, is San Diego right next to Tijuana, but, oh my gosh. So I told Stephen when we moved out here, we got to open up a Roberto's. Mm, 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 mm. We never did, but... <laughs> But now, even in California, they're closing down. I'm like, what the heck? Last time I went there was 13 years ago. And I got this huge, like, one pound, probably a pound, maybe a pound and a burrito. Because I like bean and cheese with extra cheese and sour cream. In case you wanted to know. <laughs> For three bucks. I'm not kidding you. And that's how I judge a good Mexican restaurant is by their refried beans. If they don't have good refried beans, I'm not eating there. Because I love, see that, and that's what I want to do is flock some of this. I need to go up here. Because I've only got like 15 more minutes. Y'all. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to put some on the inside so that It'll fill in some of this, too. It does. It needs to go down. Are you in um, Georgia, Wes? Because it really does. It needs to cool down. It's September, and I call them the Burmunts because um, I'm retired Navy wife, so... If whenever they were on deployment and they were gone in the Burr months, September, October, November, we knew that the end was coming soon and it would go by fast because the Burr months always go by fast. Always. Because there's just so much to do, you know. Not like there isn't so much to do the whole time they're gone, but, and of course, you know, everything that can go wrong does go wrong when they're gone. But it just makes you stronger women, right? So we're just filling this in. I mean, it was pretty full to begin with. Can't complain. Especially for $13. Yeah, I'm dropping everything. <laughs> and I don't want to get off because then I can I gotta try to get on again. <laughs> oh look, that was pretty good. I'm getting I'm getting good now. So I'm just cutting these wherever, just to make a little more out of it. And just give it some different um, dimension. Cause see, I'm trying to cover up these little pine tines. Cause I don't like those. I might even cut those out. Cause they're, but they'll get covered up. I want to flip up here under the bow to make the bow stand up a little bit more. Cause that's a little bald spot that I had there. But I also want to put some um, long, long pine needles in there. Cause I have a, a stem of those too. Yeah, this one's gonna get cut down here. Y'all, I don't want to touch my fruit yet cause it doesn't, they're not dry. I might have to come back on later and <laughs> after everybody's done going live and finish up. I was hoping, you know, that's why I wanted to do it while I was on. Just to do it together because I thought it was going to go by super fast. <laughs> I don't know why I tell myself that all the time. Every time. It's okay. What else? Okay. No, I'm going to do the long times. Hold on. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> and these are, yeah, from Hobby Lobby. I use the heck out of these, too. And you can, they just separate so easily. So perfectly.
go. Now I'll put this in. I want, because if I use that powdery stuff like I was talking about, I'm gonna put these by the, the pine cones and over this uh, pine tine here. The pine tine will be good to use for the um, berries and stuff. This I'm gonna keep down here for now. So be sure to check out Wreathing Around, and then she'll tell y'all what's coming up next after that. I was just getting used to the Friday lineup, and then we started Thursdays as well. So be sure if y'all haven't, um, if y'all are not part of Designing Women, be sure to check us out. Two days, Thursdays and Fridays, Designing Women. Women. I believe that they both start at 10 a.m. Thursdays and Fridays. And they're all sorts. They're not all just wreath makers or anything like that. You know, we all make all sorts of good stuff. Good, good goodies. We love to make them the things. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't know where that apple went, but whatever. <laughs> Do I have another one? Okay. So I want some of this to go in the middle. This one's a little wild and crazy, isn't it? I'm going to put some of this in here because there's a bald spot right here. And I think I want to find one more of these stems too. But I have some, ooh, I have some on that one I showed first. Some of this one, this one right here. I have some long, long um, pines on there with a little bit of blocking on it. So these are gonna get used, definitely. There we go. Y'all, I made that video yesterday on that fall wreath that I showed in the beginning. <laughs> and it took me over an hour to make the video. And um, you know, I did it on the um, time lapse. And it was like a 37 second video. I'm like, really? And there I was, I kept checking them all out to see which time lapse I wanted to use. And that was the number one. The other ones were even faster. I don't even know why they have those. Cause you don't see anything go on. You just see, that's it. Oh. And, um, do I want to use this? Cut it off with it. I've already mutilated this poor stem. But be sure to check out Wreathing Around at 2. And then she'll tell you who's after, who's after her. I don't know. I think that's good for now. Yeah. This one wants to fall off and it's coated in tons of glue, so that one's ugly. Bye bye. I think I'm gonna stand up because now I need to see. My legs are just so sore, y'all. <laughs> this one's gonna go right down here under the bow since it's got the pretty little berries and all that. Push my chair in. There's my apple. And we'll kind of separate these. I need to put some of those tea leaves in too. There's a couple of these pine time thingies here that I don't like. So I'm gonna scoot them to the side in there, kind of 
fluff it up around the bottom of this pine cone if I can. Yeah. Oh, before I gotta get off here, I want to show you that bag of stuff, y'all. It's um, I ordered it from Dustin. Um, like a couple of years ago, I think it was. Everything's a couple of years ago, it seems. Um, so I don't know if he still has it, but it's super cool. Hold on one sec. Oh, wait, I can't. I can't even walk over that wreath. Forget it. <laughs> so it's just a big bag, and it looks like baked snow. And so all she do is spray the wreath, and, um, Sprinkle that stuff on and then um, spray the wreath again wet or the ribbon or whatever you want to do. And it doesn't mess it up. It just uh, makes it look so super cool. Yeah. So let's put in some of these berries while I have a second. I have these berries. No, I think I like these berries better. I have these, so I'm gonna stick some of these in. Thank you, Teresa. How you doing? Thanks for jumping on. I appreciate it. Be sure to check out Wreathing Around. She's gonna be on any second now. This hour goes by so fast, y'all. I appreciate every one of you coming on and checking it out. Yeah, I will um, either come back on or post it with the with the fruit in there. But you know, now, now you got a fruit. Um, prettying tor <laughs> tutorial. I don't know what you want to call it. making your fruit all pretty look it's coming along but it's not dry see and I don't want it to get I don't want to mess it up so we'll just uh, we'll do it later when everybody's gone live I'm just dividing this up I'll stick some berries in and then fruit y'all and that's it for real it, it's they're really simple wreaths, evidently. It's my first one, so. But you know, they don't, um, they didn't have all the things like we do now. So they put what they had in there, fruit, to make it look pretty. Yep, I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Just a little tired, but other than that, doing good. I don't want to put too much of these in because I got to leave room for my fruit. Fruit, fruit, fruit. Excuse me. I want some of it hanging down in here too. Yeah. Oh, my big one. <laughs> oh no. I started hitting my fruit. Okay, googly moo. Let's get these out of here. There we go. here. Now I can put one of these in because they were done already. Gonna fluff this out a little bit. Gonna put some. Oh, I didn't even turn on my glue gun. 
I figured I'd just use my glue pot. So that's what I'll do. Stick it in my glue pot. down a little bit. Huh. Sugar fruit, that's it. <laughs> the littlest things, they escape me. It's so funny. Sugared fruit. I guess because I've never done it before. I don't think about it. I don't know. But I'm going to count these up. I always love my, the top one curled. I just think it looks so cool. Not like that, but. <laughs> well, I will see y'all tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. If you have to leave and go watch Wreathing Around, and I will see y'all in a few. But I want to go ahead and finish this up for now. What I can. While my fruit dries. Might have to just make it a two-parter. Just like them, like them a lot. So I'm going to use more of these. Then I'm going to, I'll come back and finish it up later when my other fruit is dried. I'm really bummed that it didn't dry that. It was a gamble and I took it. <laughs> I think I'm going to put one over here. Don't want it directly across. Maybe I'll put it right there. I'm going to put it right here. Okay, I'm going to call it. I'm going to stick a fork in it for now, y'all. Hi, Jojo. How you doing? Hope you're feeling better. Um, we are. I am attempting to make a um, Williamsburg-style wreath. But my my other fruits that we, we did haven't dried yet. So I'm going to finish it up later. Because it just didn't dry up. <laughs> Almost, but no. But so this is what I have so, you know, so far. If you can see, I have a couple of fruit in there, but that's it. Oh, I see a thing there. So I will add. <laughs> and I'll probably come back, you know, this evening. And um, I want to put this down here. And finish this up once my um, fruit have dried. And that way I can finish the video. All right. Thanks, y'all. Um, watch Wreathing Around. Uh, have a blessed day. Love you. Bye.